human rights activists held demonstrations across Nairobi's central business district to the Ministry of Health headquarters to demand the cancellation of the contentious reproductive health care policy set to be launched tomorrow. Tomorrow, the activists claimed the policy was not consultative and has failed to address pertinent reproductive health issues affecting women, among them, safe abortion. Women rights defenders angered. Women rights defenders angered. Marched across the city streets to the Ministry of Health headquarters, Afia House, to protest the government's 10-year draft reproductive health care policy. Health care policy 2022-2023. The women activists who wanted an audience with the health cabinet secretary Mutai Kagwe opposed the policy opposed the policy saying there was no public participation, setting key health reproductive issues among them exclusion of safe abortion for rape victims as enshrined in the constitution. How can the policy speak? How can the policy speak to the needs of Kenyans, especially? especially Kenyan women, when the most vulnerable and marginalized have not been given a chance to participate. The activists have further dismissed the draft policy. The draft policy for excluding rural communities, excluding teenage mothers and minors who have been defiled while using stigmatizing language for survivors of sexual violence. It stigmatizes young survivors of sexual violence by blaming them for refusing to resist forced sex from the partners. Our right as a people affected by this policy to participate in its drafting and its validation. The Ministry of Health must respect its obligation to consult with the public. After a three-hour wait outside the Afia House, the activists sent in their petition to the ministry officials ahead of the policy launch on Wednesday, which they want to be stopped. Our ancestors had a dream for this country. We are here because of their dreams. Their dreams. We won't sleep just because we have reckless people in the office who are okay with sleeping and not doing the right work. So here is to us saying we will continue fighting and the petition has been received and we will follow through with the petition. And as our due diligence as Kenyans, human, Kenyan human rights defenders, we promise that we'll keep you in touch, we'll keep you notified on what happens to the, to the, to the policy and we'll also let you know if your government doesn't care enough to just care enough to just go ahead and use the policy as it is. The draft reproductive health care policy is expected to provide guidelines for the stakeholders in the reproductive health sector. Cecilia Lubanga, look up TV, Nairobi.